British Airways has come under fire after claims that female cabin crew members were told off for wearing the wrong type of bra. So, to illustrate, I'm going to take over here because mm, Ben should. feels a little lost. So, to illustrate, we have dressed these three models in the same outfits but with different bras on. So, on the left, as I understand it, of your screen, that is a black bra under a white shirt. The middle one is a white bra under a white shirt and on the red is a, a red bra under a white shirt. And uh, some of them are more visible than others yes. because of the colour. Yes, I definitely. would argue, and I suspect this has been put together by a man, you should probably be wearing a nude bra under a white shirt. That would have been a good choice, yeah, would it? because then you can't see it at all. OK. But there we well, go. Well, look, we're joined now by uh, 2018 Apprentice winner Sean Gabadon, who says mm. women can wear what they want, alongside model Nicola McLean, who says British Airways staff should follow the rules when it comes to their uniform. I think, Nicola, people might be quite surprised uh, that you feel, actually, it's all about following the guidelines for uh, uniform and wearing bras that aren't necessarily the right colour or, or, or noticeable isn't the right way to go. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, I've been on here loads of times yeah. fighting for um, women's rights and I fully believe in women's rights. But I think if you go for the, um, you know, the training that you have to go to through to be cabin crew, you know that you have to look a particular way. You know, I don't have a job where people can tell me what to wear so I can wear whatever I want. You know, to be cabin crew, you have, to, you have a uniform for a reason and that's to all look the same and to represent a brand. I don't think it's appropriate to be showing your bra. Underwear is underwear for a reason and it's not to be shown. Unless you chose to be a glam model like me and then you can get it out at any time. <laughs> but if you are cabin crew, you know, the police officer that's um, sat here and, you know, spoke so well for women, you know, if she was sitting here with her bra showing people, you know, it's, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate to show your underwear in a professional environment if you are a professional. If you're a professional at getting your underwear out, that's fine. But if you're not, it should be underwear and stay under cover. So, so there is a point, isn't there, Sean, that a uniform is a uniform. You yep. could argue underwear is private because it's under your clothes. Yep. But if you can see it through your clothes, doesn't it then become something public? I think, in my opinion, this situation is one of them where it's, it's fairly degrading in this day and age to start to say we potentially have to tell women what colour underwear to wear. I think underwear, as you say, it's to be worn under your clothes. It's not necessarily to be seen. It should be more the uniform that we look at if it's an issue, then we need to change the T-shirts or the shirts that they're wearing. Right, so not the shirt is too see-through. Yeah, that's what the problem that. is. Right, Why okay. should women be... You know, when you're employing somebody, you know, as you say, appreciate it's professional and you, you need to look professional, but you, you, when you employ someone, you're taking on that ability to, to choose someone who's right for that job and who understands what colour they should and shouldn't wear... You shouldn't have to tell someone what colour underwear they should wear. You've got, a, you've got a business, Sean, haven't you, where you've yes. got a, a sort of... A, the, you won The Apprentice famously. If you're employing somebody and you're yes. going to a pitch meeting and you're uh -huh. employing a woman, for example, and she's got a blouse and you can see her bra underneath, would that make you uncomfortable if it's in the wrong sort of environment? In my opinion, I would not be looking at anybody's bra and I wouldn't, well, it wouldn't make me but, feel uncomfortable. No, but you've got to be... The reality of that, though, is... Mm -hmm. And we can see from our models over there, you're not looking at it. You can see the colour through... Whether you're looking at what it is, you can see the colour through the shirt. In my Draws opinion... Yeah. To a private my, bar to the body. I appreciate okay. what you're saying, mm. and I think it's more about the perception of a bra. So, in the, a bra is worn for comfort and it's worn to support people. Right. So, you shouldn't be looking at someone's bra and, and laughing, thinking, oh, I can see the bra. A bra is there for a reason, and a woman needs to wear a bra to support herself. So, do you think people can disassociate the practicalities of a bra from what the bra that this well, the style of the clothing. In my opinion, I think as, a, as an adult, you shouldn't be looking and thinking, oh, wow, I can see a bra through a shirt. You should be looking and thinking, she's got a bra on, she's a woman, every woman wears a bra, it's not a big deal. Uh, if I look at those models, if I, I'm honest, I cannot see an issue with any of the bras mm. that they've got on. If anything, the white bra is the, the most see-through through the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, these women are working long hours on a cabin serving drinks. The colour of the bra they're wearing is not affecting their level of service. If you had, you know, as, a, as an example, if you had someone serving you drinks and they had a bra underneath that you could see, would you think it was unprofessional because they had a bra on underneath, but the level of service was there and everything was spot on? I just think it's, it's world gone mad. You know, it's not just women that have to stick to a uniform, it's men as well. If you've seen um, a male cabin crew walking down inappropriately dressed... So if you, you could know, see his you pants could see his, his, the top of his trousers... If you could see... If he wore, if he unbuttoned his shirt because he was hot and you could see his chest, he would be in the same sort of... We would be debating the same thing. Yeah. And, you know, you say about confidence and stuff like that, it's just trying to create a feminist debate. You know, yes, we need to wear bras for comfort, absolutely, but you can get the right colour comfort bra. You know, I appreciate... 
I, I fully I agree, but I think it's more about not having to force women into wearing a certain colour or force style. Them. It's about it's, if you have a uniform, you should stick to the uniform. And one woman wearing a black bar, one wearing a red, one wearing a neon pink, you know, it, it's just you know, it doesn't look as smart. Yeah. And mm. I but think uniform when you're on is a... outer uniform is the outerwear. It's, it's you not know, the when you when you work for an airline, you know you've got to look a particular way. It's not, you know, you do. You know that your hair's got to be in a certain way. You know that you've got to, you know, depending mm -hmm. on what airline, you've got to wear red lips. You know what you're signing up for. You're signing up to all look the same and all look professional. When unless people are watching a film, the main source of entertain, you know, the main thing focus is the is the air stewardesses, and you want to just look completely professional. But we're in a day and age. Where it is, I, I agree in a sense, but it's not just about look. It's about you know we're judging these people on how they serve you as a as an air steward. It's not about how they look and, and what colour bra they've got on. Unfortunately, they do get picked for how they look. That's life. Not necessarily, and it, in my opinion. Not one of those are offending me. Oh, not one of them offend, uh, offend me. And if I seen someone on a flight, it wouldn't offend me personally. But, as I say, I just think it, it's just everyone gone mad and just trying to make out like this is, you know, women being dragged back 100 years. It's not. It's about looking professional yeah. okay. and sticking to a we have well, got a, um, We've got a yeah. statement from British Airways. Uh, they've contacted us this morning to tell us there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever that any of our cabin crew colleagues have ever been disciplined for their choice of underwear. They say they're disappointed that an open letter from a trade union containing anecdotes about their current loan form has led to inaccurate reporting on non-existent policies. They say they have no policy on type of underwear and have no intention of introducing one. So that's cleared up that position. But thank you for debating the general issue. And thank you to our models too. You haven't offended me other than the fact that I've been pressing my button and you haven't brought the trinks trolley around <laughs> once. So if you could do that later, that would be great.